Um, so some of the things we're hearing, I, I don't know um, where we are in terms of what you've heard. I was just watching an interview with the L.A. County Sheriff's Department, and they said that they did not use the jaws of life. If you've reported that that was part of the alarm of what we heard, the jaws of life, thinking it's so serious. There's also the possibility they were talking about that Tiger was talking when they got him. They are not sure what happened. Apparently what they believe is a neighbor may have heard the crash and so they got the call so that going on golfers are beginning to react to this justin thomas says this is one of my best friends this is really very scary to them to see the car at the bottom of the hill in tiger's hospital now at this point we we certainly don't believe it's life threatening in terms of tiger the person i don't think his agent would put out a, a statement that said that his he's in surgery for his legs not a statement like that that he has injuries to his legs and he's in surgery right now but in terms of tiger woods the great tiger woods who really is arguably the greatest golfer of all time this at his age, 45 years old, December 30th, he just turned 45 years old. He had back surgery in December. We just saw him over the weekend at the Genesis Open. Said he was hopeful he could return for the Masters. Tiger still eyeing the return. Most people still hoping for Tiger to win more of the majors so that he can become that guy who's won more than anyone else. In terms of his career, at 45 years old to see a, a car on the side of the road, an accident like this, alone at seven in the morning, his golf bag beside the road with him, that is such a tragedy, such a tragic way to end. People are talking about Ben Hogan, the great Ben Hogan um, was in a golf, or excuse me, a car accident as well. He recovered and came back to golf. So there are sort of parallels being drawn about this. But with Tiger, he's 45 years old. He already has a back injury. He, now we understand leg injuries. But, but not life in terms of, of his life, but, but for a, a great one like this, the greatest ever, career ending is a real possibility. Yeah, and you know, you just mentioned his golf uh, bag as part of this investigation. We just saw investigators carry his golf bag and head cover uh, away from the site uh, to obviously take it into uh, custody as evidence there as well as they look at the cause to determine the cause. Uh, Liz, part of, and you know what, let me uh, just quickly say it's the top of the hour, one o'clock, and you're watching an extended version of the Fox 11 News at noon as we continue to uh, cover the breaking news that is that of Tiger Woods involved in a single vehicle rollover crash that happened almost six hours ago in Rancho's, Rancho Palace Verdes. Uh, as presumably he was on his way to Rolling Hills uh, Country Club there to take part in a Golf Digest, Golf TV uh, shoot. This would have been day two. Uh, Bob, I can tell you that Jada Pinkett Smith was also there along with Dwayne Wade uh, yesterday and she just herself put out a tweet because she was with Tiger less than 24 hours ago. She says, prayers up for the goat. Tiger Woods, who was in a, mm. an accident this morning, was just with him yesterday. Don't take not even a moment for granted. I know you're good because your Tiger within is a beast. Wow. Wow. And the second person, as I said, I saw the Instagram tweet from Dwayne Wade, who also called him GOAT, which Tiger Wood seemingly felt so uncomfortable about it, kind of got out of the screen when Dwayne Wade was calling him GOAT. But I think a lot of people would agree would, would agree with that, that he is GOAT, or at least, uh, you know, you know, one of them. Uh